Hey guys, it's Paulo Haddad here and in this video we are going to see how we can use the export menu to get our current results. So before we go to the computer, I've been asking you guys, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new English video. So uh, let's go to com the computer. Here we have our circuit, we have already solved the snapshot simulation and now we are going to look at the uh, export menu for currents. Here we have three options, we have the terminal, the sequence and element. So let's go to the terminal. Again, you should go to your folder if you want to open that in your Excel or a similar tool. So it's very similar to what we saw previously for the voltage, right? We have the elements and here we have uh, for each element um, a phaser for each current, for each terminal. So actually for each node of each terminal. For instance, if you see the transform sub, we saw we have EA, EB, EC, and then we have um, um, a, let's say zero, whatever. And then we have the residual current, which is basically the sum of all those currents and an angle. So it's also a phaser. And then we have the current for uh, the second terminal of the transformer. So uh, a EA terminal two, EB terminal two, EC terminal two and, the res and, and, and E0 ter terminal two, right? So E0 is basically, uh, you know, if you, if you do the algebraic sum of all those guys, it should be zero. That's the rule. It's Kirchhoff's current law. And then we have the residual current uh, phaser uh, for that terminal. Oh. And then, you know, if you see the, the, the align, the same thing, phaser, 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 and then phaser, phaser, phaser for the first terminal and the second terminal. Again, one thing very important to mention is that not because it's saying one, two, three, it really means one, two, three. Uh, so for instance, this, it's, we know that this line has, I guess, a bus, which is just uh, three or uh, something like that. So probably this current is flowing into bus, uh, sorry, node three. So doesn't doesn't mean it's node one, just to keep that in mind. Uh, for loads, loads, we have just one terminal. So that's why you see a bunch of zeros here, uh, you know, for loads. Um, and yeah, that's about what we have in this file. I'm gonna close it, not save, back to open DSS, export, current sequence. And then let's go to my folder, open that. All right, all right, so um, this is a sequence. So we have here uh, for uh, each element, we have probably two, you have two lines, each one for each terminal. So you have like two lines for lines, but then for loads, you have just one line because lo a load, uh, each load has just one terminal, right? Um, and then you have like the number of the terminal number, and then you have the uh, symmetrical components, uh, current values for, you know, for each terminal. We, you have like the ratio, ratio and, and that uh, standard constant, and also the E residual. Very similar to what we saw previously. Let me open that show let me check i guess should be this one sequence yeah the same thing right uh, yeah the same name awesome so they are very similar e1 e1 we have the normal we have the emergency uh you have the ratio so so the, the, those difference that we can notice here very similar to what we saw in the voltage reports is that for a, new, uh, a bus that is not three phase, we don't have E1 here anymore, right? Um, that's one difference. 
The other difference though that I want to mention here is that if you look at the, this line 650632 in the previous video we saw the norm uh, and the emergency how OpenSS calculates it so if you go here basically were those two numbers right 14798 and here if you see it's like 130 and 87 so it's less well that's a little bit strange right let me do a calculation and show you what OpenSS is doing no, I'm not gonna I'm gonna MCD. We, we we know that uh, norm and um, for the line was 400 right check the last video if you are not following that and emergence amps it's at it's equals 600 right oops emergence emergence amps okay awesome now to get this 130.9 what OpenSS is doing it's not going to the phase current and get the maximum for the terminal as we did in the previous video it's actually now going to the positive sequence component of this terminal which is you can see here five two two three dot seven nine and divide by norm amps norm amps one 130 you know times 100 then we have 130.9 well very strange so if you do like again the positive sequence and divide by the emergence um amps then you're gonna have 87.3 what we have here so for transformers is, is the same thing instead of using the max current that we have in the terminal the first terminal it's actually using um the max you know the positive sequence value so just keep that in mind right um if you want to use it i'm going to close it uh, i guess we covered everything from this file the differences and stuff now let's go to element and um element here well, uh, again, very similar to what we had in, in the voltage one. So each element, number of terminals, number of conductors. And then if you, if you multiply number of terminals and number of conductors, it's equal the number of phasers that we are going to have here, right? So for instance, let's go to a line, this line here, two times three, is six so ea terminal one eb terminal one ec terminal one and then we have ea terminal two eb terminal two and ec terminal two right um again very important doesn't mean that th this one here doesn't mean node one which does it that is only means that is the first node with voltage available for that bus okay so guys uh really glad that we covered all the options we have for voltage and current under our show and export menus in the next two videos we are going to talk about uh the, the powers and then we move to the voltage profile and then i'm gonna start talking about time series simulations um and later on, I guess we can create a series or a tutorial where I, co I can cover uh, most of those reports. They are very um, important some, in some cases, very interesting uh, as well. And, you know, uh, we can do that later. But b before that, I want to cover the basics like snapshot type of simulation, time series type of simulation, what kind of results we can get. And from that, then we can decide together where I go and what, what you'd like to hear and learn from my experience, right? 
again guys give this, give me a thumbs up uh don't forget to subscribe if you are new in the channel and hit the bell button so you'll be notified as soon as i upload any new video uh thank you so much for being here with me and hope to see you in the next video